Here is, a, here is simulator for Arduino version 0.99c. Let's load a test sketch, the energy meter sketch. If we run this sketch, it calculates the cost for running a light globe for a day or up to a year based on a rate of 24 cents per kilowatt. If we turn syntax colouring on, we can see the lines change colour. Blue for subroutines, green for definitions, comments are light grey, hash commands are medium grey and objects are purple. In the variables area, notice how the variables are compact. If we resize, we can then double click to auto size back. If we load the OBD dashboard sketch, notice how the variables area is now larger. Also, we have a new binary mode found by right clicking. The toolbar is also being reworked to be easier to use. The auto step time has been now pushed to the edit page and this can be set to 500 milliseconds for teaching and demo purposes. Okay, let's show some of the good stuff, the trace. Let's load the trace check sketch. We can turn the trace on here and let's turn on the other three options. Now let's step to the end of the loop routine and then open the trace file, which is always in the same directory as the simulator executable. Note how the serial.write byte has been recorded at bit level. OK, let's open the logic analyzer. Now we can see all the bit transitions of the serial, SPI and wire transmit bytes. Some of the clock signals look very compact, so with the mouse wheel we can click to select the picture and then scroll to zoom in. Hovering the mouse shows the line, time and even commands on the bottom toolbar. If we turn on the option Enable Green Line, we can see which line of the sketch corresponds to the output data. And here is the time base.